Veronica Diaz with Matterhorn Audio, and we just had an opportunity to listen to this beautiful system they have set up. And thank uh, you so much, Veronica. Thanks for having us. And if you could walk us through and describe what no, you've got showcased you. here. Thank you for being here. We're I'm very excited at the Pacific Audio Fest to be presenting this time. Uh, Matterhorn Audio is a distributor uh, from uh, the East Coast, and now we're coming to the West Coast, uh, showing you the products that we are showcasing. So the product that we have here is the Fing Tim Borg and the Fing Tim Kim. Let's see, that's our like the biggest stars of the show right now. Um, always the speaker calls for attention, right? So this is the Borg. This is the Kim. We are being uh, powering them with. I, uh, Voyage I-20 from the UK. These are German loudspeakers. Um, and we are using high diamond cables. Um, we are using room through the Link Climax uh, DSM. With organic, we don't distribute this one, but uh, this is our source right now. And ASUS um, uh, accessories. Now, let me talk about a little bit uh, about the Fink Team. Fink Team is a German brand by Karl Heinz Fink. Karl Heinz is the audio consultant, the most famous, I would say, one of the most famous audio consultants in Europe. He has been working before with his consultancy firm for many loudspeaker brands and electronic brands. I'm, I'm gonna name, name like name uh, Tenoy, Wharfdale. They recently bought Epos. Epos and they are, um, in some point, they were asked to create a loudspeaker that was for Morans for the really high end. And that loudspeaker was a big one. It had a 15 inch driver and it was called a WL4 and that stands for the washing machine <laughs> because they have a, a sense of humor that is kind of unique and they were invited to create their own speaker because they had such great acceptance so they created the first speaker was the Borg. The Borg was in a Munich high-end poster in 2019 if I am not correct please correct me and um, then they created the they came uh, two years after. We are presenting that now in the, un in the United States. Uh, let me tell you what is special about them. Besides the sound, uh, they have an AMT Twitter uh, co-created with Mundorf and Carl Heinz, and they created their own drivers. The um, enclosure is MDF very tight uh, with uh, some dampening material and what is truly unique and if you want to take a look at the back is that they can be tuned interesting yes they can really? be tuned yeah they, do you want to come and i can show you okay uh i can move up out of there so you can see how the board okay have the ability to be tuned uh, with their dampening, that is, uh, dampening is the base, then they have uh, the presence, the mid and the highs, and the Kim has only two, because it's a smaller uh, speaker, and that includes the stand. Also notice how the design of the Borg, um, the enclosure is not, um, it's not something casual, it's something that was measured until they didn't have any reflections inside. So that's the, what, the way the, the, this shape came to life. And because of the shape, they say, this looks like something that came from, comes from the future. So they named it the Borg after the character in Star Trek. Okay. And then when the Kim was created, that was between a monitor and more like a compact speaker, they named it the Kim. Okay, that's uh, another character. And um, so this is, uh, obviously it goes much lower in the bass and then the Kim, but you should listen to the Kim too. It's, it's quite an interesting speaker. It has tilting that makes the, the tweeter really arrives to the sweet spot. And well, what else can I tell you about it? Any questions? Uh, I can provide all the... I'm interested still about when you mentioned the tuning. You, so, to actually... Do you, can you actually tune it like within your own 
home or it's just tuned each one perfectly when it comes off the line? Well, normally we say uh, we want a speaker that sounds well from the get-go, but you know that there are some rooms and equipments that have differences. For example, you can decide if you want to use it with two amplifiers or with digital. In that case, you move your tuning to that. Now, it's not like a big jump. It's something doing mathematically uh, and 2.5 decibels for the cam, 5 decibels for the board. And actually, you know, when you move the knob, you feel like that makes the sound difference that corresponds to your movement with the hand. It's just some, some, something interesting that ha can happen. Also, for example, if your room has some difficulties, like a wall that is too close, you can play a little bit with how you want to tune the mids and the highs. And uh, obviously the bass, it depends more like moving the actual speaker, but it's still, it's still it has some dampening effect. And, and you can listen to it, yes. So here we we just decided to make it, the, in this room, we didn't have to move from the zero position. Uh, we actually moved them in the ideal position for this room. You know that hotel rooms are always a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. yeah sometimes for sure. But now the design, it's, I like how you described this from the future. And just, it's a clean look though too. It's just, uh, and best of all, it sounds great, right? So well, thank you. That's what matters.